Hello children, let us see application of sets. While solving word problems on sets, these formulas are frequently used. Let us see what are they. First one is N A union B is equal to N A plus N B. It is read as number of elements in set A union B is equal to number of elements in set A plus number of elements in set B. The condition is if A and B are disjoint sets. Consider two sets, set A and set B. These are disjoint sets as there is no element common in them. So, total number of elements in set A union B will be number of elements in set A plus number of elements in set B as written here. Second formula, N A union B is equal to N A plus N B minus N A intersection B. Means number of elements in set A union B is equal to Number of elements in set A plus number of elements in set B minus number of elements in set A intersection B. This is general formula and this formula is a specific case of this general formula. We will see in a while. So consider two sets, set A and B. So number of elements in set A union B. The green shaded portion shows A union B. So, number of elements in A plus number of elements in B, this is counted twice. So, we need to subtract this part once and this part is A intersection B. So, that's what it is written. Number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus common part subtracted once. So, minus and A intersection B. In this formula, suppose A and B are disjoint sets means there is no element common in A and B as shown here. So, A intersection B will be 5 or 0. So, the formula will change to N A union B is equal to N A plus N B as shown in the first formula. Third formula involves three sets A, B and C. So, N A union B union C is equal to N A plus N B plus N C minus and A intersection B minus and B intersection C minus and A intersection C plus and A intersection B intersection C. Let us see how it is derived. Suppose A union B is R. So A union B is equal to R. So left hand side will be N R union C. We can expand this as N R plus n c minus n r intersection c. Now put again r is equal to a union b. So we can write as n a union b plus n c minus n a union b intersection c where a union b will be done first. Now this can be expanded as n a plus n b minus n a intersection b plus n c minus n a union b intersection c. This will be done first. Now notice this a union b intersection c is shown here. So a union b is this green shaded portion. When you do intersection with c, this will be red shaded portion. So, we have to get this. In this figure, I have done B intersection C. So, B intersection C is this portion. Then, A intersection C is this portion. So, I have added B intersection C plus A intersection C and I have subtracted this common portion once. Means, N B intersection C plus N A intersection C minus N a intersection B intersection C. So notice that these two portions are same. So I can replace this by this. So it will be N A plus N B minus N A intersection B plus N C minus. Now this portion will be replaced by this. Since Minus is outside, so I will change sign of all the terms here. So it will be minus n b intersection c minus n 
a intersection c plus and a intersection b intersection c now you can rearrange the terms and write as n a plus n b plus n c minus n a intersection b minus n b intersection c minus n a intersection c plus n a intersection b intersection c that is what the right side is on the left hand side you can write a union b in place of r so n a union b union c is equal to this so this is what the third formula is now let us see some practice questions i have taken these questions from mathematics for class 11 by dr rd sharma first question is in a group of 800 people 550 can speak hindi and 450 can speak english how many can speak both hindi and english we can solve this question by two methods by using formula or by using venn diagram so let us solve by using formula first consider two sets h and e that of hindi speaking people and english speaking people so we can write an h union e is equal to n h plus n e minus n h intersection e so union is given as 800 so 800 is equal to n h number of hindi speaking people so 550 so we can put 550 plus number of english speaking people 450 plus 450 minus n people who speak both the languages so we can solve this simple equation n taken to this side will be n is equal to 550 plus 450 that will be 1000 minus 800 to this side will be minus 800 so n is equal to 200 so number of people who speak both the languages is 200 let us solve by venn diagram suppose n is the number of people who speak both the languages so we can write number of people who speak only hindi as 550 minus n so 550 minus n will be this portion number of people who speak only english will be 450 minus n so we will write 450 minus n here so this will be this portion now we can add these three areas so what we will get we, we should get the summation 800 so 800 will be union of both the set so it 800 will be 550 minus n plus n plus 450 minus n so n n will get cancelled here minus n will be taken to this side will be n 550 plus 450 that is 1000 minus 800 so n will be 200 again you get the same answer second question in a group of 50 people 35 speak hindi 25 speak both english and hindi and all the people speak at least one of the two languages how many people speak only english and not hindi how many people speak english again consider two sets h and e that of hindi and english speaking people respectively formula is and h union e is equal to and h plus and e minus and h intersection e total number of people is given as 50 so we will put 50 here that is equal to number of people who speak hindi 35 plus number of people who speak english we have to figure out let's say any minus number of people who speak both the languages 25 so we can solve this simple equation 50 is equal to 35 minus 25 10 plus any so any is equal to 50 minus 10 
that is equal to 40. So 40 people speak English. Second part, how many people speak English is answered 40 people. First part is how many people speak only English and not Hindi. So have, we have figured out how many people speak English that is 40 and 25 people speak both the languages means number of people who speak only English not Hindi will be 40 minus 25 that is equal to 50. So 15 people speak only English not Hindi. We can solve this question by Venn diagram also. So let us see how total is 50 people means union of H and E is 50 and number of people who speak Hindi is 35 and 25 people speak both the languages. So this common part is 25. So we have figured out 25 people speak both the languages. So this portion is 25. Number of people who speak only Hindi will be 35 minus 25 means 10. 10 people will speak only Hindi not English and total is 50. So if we subtract 10 plus 25 means 35 from 50. So we will get 50 minus 10 plus 25 that is equal to 50 minus 35 that is equal to 50. So 15 people speak only English, not Hindi. So we have figured out first part, how many people speak only English and not Hindi, 15 people means this, this area. Now the second part is how many people speak English. So English speaking people are here. So it is 15 plus this common 25. 15 plus 25 means 40 people speak English. Third question, in a town of 10,000 families, it was found that 40% families buy newspaper A, 20% families buy newspaper B and 10% families buy newspaper C. 5% families buy A and B, 3% buy B and C and 4% buy A and C. If 2% families buy all the three newspapers, find the number of families which buy A only, B only, none of A, B, C. So this question can be solved quickly by Venn diagram. Let us see how. First step is to figure out how many families buy all the three newspapers. So 2% families buy all the three newspapers. 2% of 10,000 will be 200. So you need to write 200 in this common zone. Now how many families buy A and B? 5% families buy A and B. 5% of 10,000 will be 500. So common to A and B will be 500. 200 is already occupied. So you will write 500 minus 200 that is 300 here. Now common to B and C. How many families buy B and C? 3%. 3% of 10,000 is 300. So you will write 300 minus 200 means 100 here. Common to A and C. How many families? 4% of 10,000. That is 400 families buy A and C. A and C. So 400 minus 200. You need to write 200 here. Now 40% families buy newspaper A, 40% of 10,000 will be 4,000. So this summation is 4,000 and this summation is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 700. So 4,000 minus 700 will give 4,000 minus 700 that is equal to 3,300 families buy only newspaper A. So write 3,300 here. Now, 20% families buy newspaper B. 20% of 10,000 will be 2,000. Means this whole area will be 2,000. So 2,000 minus 300 plus 200 plus 100. Means 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 600. So 2,000 minus 600. 2,000 minus 600. 
that will be equal to 1400 so 1400 families buy only newspaper b let us figure out how many buy only c so 10 percent families buy newspaper c 10 percent of 10000 will be 1000 so 1000 will be summation of this whole area you need to subtract 200 plus 200 plus 100 means 200 plus 200 400 plus 100 500 so 500 need to be subtracted from 1000 1000 minus 500 that is equal to 500 so 500 families buy only newspaper c so you write 500 so let us see what all the parts we have answered a only a only is 3300 b only that is 1400 none of a b and c to figure out none of a b and c we need to do summation of all these and subtract from 10,000. So we will figure out how many families do not buy any of the newspapers. So let us do summation of all these first. So 3,300 plus 300 plus 1,400 plus 200 plus 100 plus 200 plus 500. Let us see we have included all. 3300 plus 300 plus 1400 plus 200 plus 100 plus 200 plus 500. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have to do summation of all. It will be 0, 0, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 2, 12 plus 1, 13 plus 2, 15 plus 5, 20. 2 carry over. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 1, 6. So 6,000 families buy some of the newspapers means either one, either A or B or C or combination. Let us figure out how many families do not buy any of them. So it will be 10,000 minus 6,000 that will be 4,000. So 4,000 families do not buy any of the newspapers. Fourth question, a school awarded 58 medals for honesty. 20 for punctuality and 25 for obedience. If these medals were backed by a total of 78 students and only 5 students got medals for all the 3 values, find the number of students who received medals for exactly 2 of the 3 values. Suppose these are 3 sets H, P and O. They represent students who got medals for honesty students who got medal for punctuality and students who got medal for obedience. So there are five students should be written in this zone who got medals for all three values. Suppose this is N1, this is N2 and this is N3. So we need to get the value of N1 plus N2 plus N3 means students who receive medals for exactly two of the three values means n1 plus n2 plus n3 so let us start it is given that 58 medals are given for honesty so total of this should be 58 means what is this this is 58 minus n1 plus n2 plus 5 so let us write 58 minus n1 plus n2 plus 5. This is number of students who got medals only for honesty. Similarly, we will figure out number of students who got medals only for punctuality. So, they will be 20 minus 20 minus n1 plus n3 plus 5. And number of students who got Medals only for obedience will be 25 minus 25 minus N2 plus N3 plus 5. N2 plus N3 plus 5. So we have got these numbers. Medals only for honesty, only for punctuality and only for obedience. So now we will add these areas separately and equate that to 78. So we will add these three 
plus n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus 5 and equate that to 78. So let us start adding. First adding these three which represent this, this and this. So it will be 8 plus 5, 13, 1 carry over, 5 plus 1, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 2, 10, 103 minus n1 plus n1, n2 plus n2, n3 plus n3 means they will appear twice. So 2n1 plus 2n2 plus 2n3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 plus n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus 5 n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus 5. The total will be equal to 78. So, let us start simplifying. Now, 103 plus 5, 108. 108 minus 15, that will be equal to 93. Minus 2 n1 plus n1. Minus 2 n2 plus n2. Minus 2 n3 plus n3. So, that will be equal to minus n1 plus n2 plus n3 in bracket and that is equal to 78. n1 plus n2 plus n3 is taken to other side so it will become positive. So, n1 plus n2 plus n3 is equal to 93 minus 78 and that is equal to 15. So, we have got our answer n1 plus n2 plus n3 is 15. So, there are 15 students who received medals for exactly two of the three values. Fifth question, if A and B are two sets and U is the universal set such that NU is equal to 700, NA is equal to 200, NB is equal to 300 and NA intersection B is 100. Find NA dash intersection B dash. Whenever there is a talk about complements of two sets, you think about De Morgan's law. So, De Morgan's law states that A union B complement is equal to A dash intersection B dash. So, you can write it as N A union B dash is equal to N A dash intersection B dash. So, we have to figure out N A dash intersection B dash means this will be equal to this. So, we have to figure out what is the value of this. So, N A union B complement it will be equal to now N U is 700, N A is this, N B is this and A intersection B. So, first we will figure out what is N A union B. So, N A union B we know that this is equal to N A plus N B minus N A intersection B that will be equal to N A. N A is given as 200 plus N B is given as 300 minus A intersection B is given as 100. So, it will be equal to 200 plus 300, 500 minus 100, 400. So, complement of A union B will be N A union B dash will be universal N U minus and A union B and that will be equal to N U is given as 700. So, 700 minus 400 that will be equal to 300. So, we have got our answer 300. Sixth question for two sets A union B is equal to A if and only if B is subset of A or A is subset of B. A is not equal to B or A is equal to B. This is subset symbol. This is subset symbol and this is proper subset symbol. We will see symbols in a while. So, consider two sets, set A and set B. Set B is fully inside set A. Then A union B, when you do A union B, you will get the result as A. So, it is possible only if B is subset of A. So, option A is correct. Seventh question, two finite sets have M and N elements. The number of elements in the power set of first set is 48 more than the total number of elements in 
power set of second set then the values of m n and r we need to figure out what is m what is n consider a set a having only one element let's say a then the subsets of a will be pi and a or the elements of power set will be p a will be equal to pi and a two elements consider a has two elements now a comma b so subsets of a will be pi a b and a comma b so power set of a here it will be pi a b and a comma b similarly when you have three elements in a consider three elements in a so a has a b and c elements in it so subsets of this will be pi a b c a and b b and c p and a and a b and c so how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so there is a relationship between the number of elements and number of subsets or number of elements in power set if there is one element in set a then there will be 2 to power 1 means two subsets or two elements in power set of a if there are two elements in set a then there will be 2 to power 2 means four subsets or four elements in power set of a if there are three elements in set a then there will be 2 to power 3 means eight subsets or eight elements in power set of a similarly if there are m elements in a set then there will be 2 to power n subsets or 2 to power m elements in power set of that set and if there are n elements there will be 2 to power n subsets or 2 to power n elements in power set of that set so it is given that two finite sets have m and n n elements means they have 2 to power m elements in power set and 2 to power n elements in other sets power set so difference is 48 means this is bigger so 2 to power m minus 2 to power n is 48 so let us try out these values so if m is 7 n is 6 so it will be 2 to power 7 means 128 minus 2 to power 6 is 64 so difference is 64 which is not correct it should be 48 let's see if m is 6 n is 3 So 2 to power 6 is 64 minus 2 to power 3 is 8. So it will be 56, which is not correct. Third option is 6 and 4 means m is 6 and n is 4. So 2 to power 6 means 64 minus 2 to power 4 that is 16. So difference is 48. So difference should be 48 means this is the correct option. let us take a quick look at the symbols used in sets and their meaning this is union intersection this is subset this is proper subset this is not subset this is superset this is proper superset this is not superset this is complement of set a a and then as superscript it is c this is cardinality means the number of elements in set a a cross b cartesian product of set a and set b a symmetric difference b means elements that belong to either set a or set b but not to their intersection so this concludes sets in next video we will talk about relations of sets if you have a question you can ask me on my discord server if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do so